Hello, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week, I wanted to talk about an iconic insect that is starting to make a 3,000-mile-long migration to its wintering grounds, the monarch butterfly. Monarchs are native to most areas across North America and are divided into the western and eastern populations. The western monarch population breeds west of the Rocky Mountains while overwintering in Southern California, while the eastern population breed in the Great Plains and Canada while overwintering all the way down in Mexico. Monarch butterflies have vibrant orange wings with black borders and veins and white spots along the edges. When differentiating between male and females, the male has two black spots in the center of their wings, while the females do not, but tend to have thicker black veins. They only weigh about the weight of a paperclip and can have a wingspan of three and a half to four inches. Monarchs go through an extensive life cycle, with milkweed plants playing a key role in monarch survival. Monarch caterpillars feed solely on milkweed plants, while the adult butterflies can feed on nectar from a variety of plants, including milkweed. It takes four to five generations of monarchs to complete the annual cycle of migration and breeding. The monarchs you see in the early summer will have a lifespan of two to four weeks, but the adults that emerge right before migration as the last generation will survive for over eight months. As the days get shorter, monarchs know it's time to start their migration routes towards their wintering grounds. They use the sun to stay on course, but on cloudy days, they actually have a magnetic compass to help them navigate in the right direction. While their migration is already tough, relying on specific plants to lay their eggs when heading back to breeding grounds is a big threat to them as well. Since the 1980s, the monarch populations have declined greatly. It is said that the western population has declined by 99%, while the eastern population has declined by 80 The disappearance of milkweed, especially in the Midwest, has become a major reason why monarch numbers are dwindling. Milkweed is the only plant that monarchs can lay their eggs on for their caterpillars to survive. The removal of milkweed from fields in recent years, as well as increased use of herbicides and mowing alongside roads and ditches, has significantly reduced the amount of milkweed available. While it is a bigger problem than a single person can solve, there are simple ways to keep the monarch population from falling further. You can help make a difference in monarch restoration by planting milkweed, avoiding the use of pesticides, and even creating a pollinator habitat in your own backyard. If you see a monarch over the next few weeks, hopefully this species spotlight can help you appreciate their long journey to the south. Thanks for tuning in.